Hello everyone and welcome back to the second channel. Boy, do we have a treat for you today. Robert has scoured the web to find some of the strangest and creepiest old commercials featuring people who are probably dead now. Starting with this one for Austex Beef Stew, which according to the comments feels like a horror movie and everyone is on edge in this entire commercial. So I'm very excited to see how a beef stew commercial can be so tense. Real good stew. Hmm? The stew. It's good. Oh, it's just, uh, well, actually, it sure has got a lot of beef in it. Mm hmm? It's got a lot of beef. <laughs> Dude, her mind is elsewhere. I can see why people think that this feels like a horror movie. The vibe I'm getting is that this woman just murdered someone. She murdered someone and put them in the stew. So when he's like, it's a good stew. I said, good stew. She's over there just replaying the image in her mind. They're gonna find me out. They're gonna find out there's people in the stew. Hmm? The stew. It's good. Oh. Maybe we could have it a little more often. Sure. You know what? What? <laughs> She's like, oh no, he found me out. She pulls out a gun behind her back. What? <laughs> I even like the carrots. Oh, he just likes the carrots. Phew. So he doesn't know I murdered that boy. I guess I don't know when this commercial is from. 1966. I guess that's before they invented music or acting or charisma. The way he says he likes the carrots is devoid of any emotion. I even like the carrots. I even like the carrots. Go ahead if you want to. Hide the can and take the credit for Austex beef stew. <laughs> beef stew with a glass of milk is diabolical. Dude, I was so focused on the eerie ambiance in the air, I didn't even notice he was drinking milk with this beef stew. That's really a one-two punch to the cows, you know? There's also something about just the silence and that sort of analog humming sound that's going on in the entire commercial. More? Yeah. This feels like a hostage situation. Yeah, I would agree with that. There's a reverend that commented that. Reverend, what are you doing on TikTok <laughs> making fun of commercials? Yeah, this feels like a hostage situation. I'm actually not sure who is holding who hostage. It might be the director. I have a feeling that the director is holding a camera and a gun. My other theory is that there are drugs in the beef stew. That's what makes the Austec beef stew so good. It totally zoots you. <laughs> this dude is on Molly right now. Best stew I've ever had. Okay, this is another commercial for something called the Six Finger Shooter, I believe. Let's check it out. One, a two, a three, four, five, a six. <laughs> six, surprise! <laughs> All right, this is terrifying too, man. Six, surprise! It's a gun! This is actually the gun the director was using in the previous commercial. You know what? I was surprised. I, I was not expecting the finger to be a gun. I thought it was just a fun prop finger. Surprise! You're dead. It looks like your finger, but watch him flip. It's a secret weapon at your fingertip. All right, yeah, I guess it's a it's a pretty fun looking toy. You can sneak up on your friends with your little dart shooter because they'll think, oh, he's not holding a gun. He's just some kind of freak with six fingers. What did the boy flipping have to do with it? He said it looks like a finger, but watch him flip. It's a gun. Look over at him flipping. Now look back at me. You're about to die. The kid flipping was some kind of diversion to take your mind off of my sixth finger while I load it. Six finger sends an SOS missile to your friends. Six finger, six finger, six finger. Fires cap loaded bombs and they explode as a ballpoint pen. Wait, why did he get so scary? <laughs> the kids chanted six finger, six finger, six finger. And then they summoned the scary narrator. That's right children it shoots bombs and it looks like your finger and how will they know six finger six finger six finger here's how to get it on the card right there less than two dollars everywhere yeah i don't like the way he's talking to me now i like the first guy the one who wanted me to watch the kid flip watch him flip and now that i've got you right where i want you shoot your friends come on they won't see it coming. Who has a ballpoint pen and signals in code? Looks like a finger so no one can see. It does seem like it does a lot of things that don't necessarily add anything to the experience. The real fun is that it shoots missiles. Your friends don't see it coming because they think you just have a finger pointed at them and then you shoot something at them. I don't really know what good it is that it... It's a pen. I don't... 
No, a circumstance where I would need to write something, but I'm scared of anyone knowing I have a pen. A circumstance where it would look more normal for me to be writing with my fingertip than a ballpoint pen. I wonder if you can still get one of these bad boys. Oh, wow. Here it is in color. It looks totally like his finger. He's just got one tan... <laughs> Totally discolored finger. Is there any videos of modern people trying this out? And we're gonna Damn. test out each one of these little, at least check them out. I don't think the ballpoint pen will work. Maybe I'll send you an SOS message. Nice. What's going on here? Why is the dog talking? I'm excited LPS Dave. This is I like am. when you get a big haircut or something like that. We're, we're really going all out. Well, you know. Dude, I don't know what this channel is, but I like this. All right, let's see him shoot it. Be careful. Here we go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that shot hard. The toy dog scrammed out of there. He was like, no, fuck this. Yeah, that was definitely more powerful than any of them expected. Definitely makes that hardened criminal sounding narrator all that more creepy. Well, anyway, that was a weird detour, but I really like that channel. I'm gonna have to come back and watch that channel later. <laughs> I like the talking dog. Okay, I have more scary commercials to get to, but first, I have a scary ad of my own to make. Sticky! Is sponsoring this video. Summer is officially here, gang, and you know what sounds pretty good to me this summer? Getting out of the house, going to some events, making memories that are gonna last. In summers past, I've used SeatGeek to go to concerts like The Weeknd, but this summer I'm particularly excited to go to some Cubs game, and I'm actually doing that today. I'm using SeatGeek this afternoon to go see the Cubs play the Giants. I care so much more about sports when I'm watching them in person. It's just a great excuse to go out, get some sun, see other people, feel like you live in a society of other human beings, and that is why I'm very excited to tell you about my special hookup with SeatGeek. Everybody watching this video can use my code DANNY10 to get 10% off any tickets on SeatGeek. Whether you're a new customer or a seasoned professional, whether you're going to sports, concerts, any other live events, you can get 10% off by using my code DANNY10. If sports aren't your thing, getting tickets to concerts is also super convenient on SeatGeek. And there's so many artists touring right now, Billie Eilish, Hozier, Noah Kahan. So let's get out there and have some fun this year, gang. Get some friends together, get some tickets, use my code DANNY10. No matter how many times you've bought tickets before on SeatGeek, DANNY10 is gonna get you 10% off your next order. The code is only available for a limited time, so if there's someone you wanna go see, a team you're rooting for, Go ahead, download the app, use my code DANNY10, and have some fun. So thanks to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video, and thank you to you guys for checking out SeatGeek. And now back to the video. Okay, I've actually seen this commercial before, and it is definitely one of my favorite commercials of all time. It's from 1999, and it's about this, like, gaming chair. The Video Gear Command Center. Check it out. What is it? 10% plastic, 9% attitude. Why you started gaming in the first place? No distractions, just you and the game. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the robot voice is very creepy. Like, does not need to be that scary. What is that? Is it a chair? Also, I love that he says no distractions. No distractions, just you and the game. As the chair is like <laughs> rocking back and forth, jostling the kid around. No distractions, man, just me locked into the game. And it's why we started gaming in the first place? To sit on a little seesaw chair? Yeah, man, all of that Halo and Super Mario Brothers was just an excuse to get my butt on a little rocking chair. All right, well, let's let's uh, watch this robot voice try to gather more data on this chair. Is it a chair? No, that's a chair. It's not a chair? <laughs> yes, it is. I don't like these kids' attitude. She makes it sound like the robot's an idiot for asking. No, you idiot, that's a chair, all right? This is a command center. Tons of cool stuff. Wow, look at all that cool stuff. You got the junction of the headrest to the rest of the chair. You have the side of the chair. Gosh, you've even got the bottom of the chair. After watching this whole commercial, I don't even know if this does anything aside from just rock. Like, I don't know if it has electronics built into it or anything. Speakers to immerse yourself in the game more. I actually think it might just be a plastic rocking chair, which makes pointing to all the cool things on the chair make no sense. Plastic over here and over there. Wicked cool. And don't ask any questions or we're gonna hurt you. Now you're in the game. Straight rock and roll. Who needs it? 
Who cares? If I have to tell you, you don't belong here. It's cool. Why are they so mean, dude? I'm on the robot voice's side. He's just earnestly asking questions about the product that you guys are advertising, and you're like, who cares, man? Just sit in it. This is peer pressure like I've never seen before in a commercial. The video Gear Command Set. It's the ultimate video game accessory for serious gamers. Yeah, that commercial did not make me feel so good, man. That poor robot just wanted to know about the chair. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up we have a smoky bear ad. So I'm presuming this one is to prevent forest fires. Let's see how they do that. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet. A place where animals play. It's called the forest. But every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? I actually don't know if I listened to the ad as it stands currently. I was trying to figure out why she was talking to me like that. Was that supposed to be like seductive? I guess that's the implication. He's like, look, I'm not a hot lady, I'm actually a talking bear. But you wouldn't have listened to something so normal as a talking bear. And it's like, no, I would have listened to the talking bear. You're actually a very scary looking little Muppet thing. I definitely want to know what you have to say. I don't think she really nailed the seductive tone, honestly. I felt threatened. Forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof. Fire. Yeah, I feel like she's actually the one starting the forest fires. I also don't know who that commercial's targeted to, I guess. I feel like anyone that was legitimately turned on by that lady probably was not listening to what she was saying. They were just like, hot woman in threatening tone. I love it. And then she took off her face and she was a bear and they were like, ah, all right. I'll, uh, I guess I'll do what the commercial says. I won't start any forest fires this year. You win this time, Smokey. 1966 Mattel baby secret doll commercial. Can you keep a secret? Then listen to Mattel's new baby secret. She whispers just to you, and her lips really move when she talks. It's almost unbelievable. I want to taste. <laughs> I want to taste the flesh of humans. You know, it's funny the things adults think are scary and kids apparently don't. Like a creepy little doll that whispers to you in the middle of the night definitely seems like something that would be straight out of a horror movie, but maybe I only think that because I've seen horror movies. When you're a little kid, you don't know that that type of stuff can even be scary. You just think like, oh, it's a doll with secrets. <laughs> That's not dark at all. That's just cool. He wants to tell me his secrets. And she looks so real, the way her lips move like yours. Yeah, that's not how my lips move, actually. My lips move depending on the sounds that my mouth is making. Her lips move like this. I'd like to she can even pose the way you want, but then when you wake up in the middle of the night, she'll be in a completely different position that she wants. And she'll say things like, Kill them. Kill them all. Do it for me. Get Mattel's soft and wonderful new baby secret. So you can have fun keeping secrets together. Oh, so you get to tell her your secrets too. I guess that's cool. As a little boy, man, I had so many secrets and I just, I just wish I had a doll I could whisper them to. It would suck if the doll could actually process what you were telling it and then it started gossiping about you to other people. You catch your brother in the middle of the night with the doll up to his ear and it's like, Danny picks his nose. No, baby secret, you liar. Baby secret, I thought I could trust you. I just feel like that product was designed designed in order for, in a few years, a horror movie to be made based off of that doll. Anyway, now we've got a Duracell talkative relative slipped other battery commercial, 1994. I'm having trouble understanding that sentence. I guess I just gotta watch it to figure out what this is. So, is everybody using Duracell batteries? No kidding. The second I heard they had a battery that lasts all other brands, I bought the family whole case. Reminds me of the first time we tried Duracell batteries. We were living in Tulsa with their great aunt Emma. <laughs> we shared a one room apartment. Herb, did you slip her one of those other batteries? Me? <laughs> <laughs> the copper top tops them all. This is like if the baby secret doll grew up and started a family. And you better believe he's still got secrets. Yeah, also I think they just killed that lady. <laughs> they swapped her battery out with a dead battery. Uh-oh, Aunt Lenore's getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> How about we remove that which gives her life? 
You even hear like a fly flying around right after she keels over. <laughs> the fly immediately recognizes, oh, a dead person, time to start buzzing around her. Okay, so at first we had Baby Secret, now there's a product called Baby Laugh-A-Lot, okay. Listen to Remco's Baby Laugh-A-Lot. I'm really worried about what this laugh is gonna sound like. Okay, it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be, but the the slow zoom into her face as she does it, and everyone being like, huh! does add a certain scary factor to it. <laughs> You're listening to Baby Laugh a lot. <laughs> she's the funniest doll you've ever seen. <laughs> Just push the button, and she starts to giggle. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, her face is creepy. Look at that smile. You know how you laugh? <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead and leave in the comments below which baby doll would you least like to see at the foot of your bed in the middle of the night? Baby laughs a lot or baby secret? Baby secret just wants to tell you something. And sure, it might be dark, but Baby laughs a lot. She knows something that's deeply funny to her, and she's not gonna tell you what it is. All she does is laugh. And I don't know what's more scary. Okay, Sprite Sun Fizz, 90s commercial. Mom, we're thirsty! Well, I've got two glasses of Sun Fizz coming right up. Sun Fizz, that's our favorite! That's because there's a delicious ray of sunshine in every drop! Ah! Wait, what is this? Is this a real commercial? That's so funny. I actually like this one. I think that was a real commercial. That was good, dude. I don't even know what Sprite Sun Fizz is, but I want to drink that now. We need more... <laughs> Terrifying commercials. Intentionally terrifying commercials. The top comment is the creepiest thing is the son never denies their fear. He just keeps on chasing. You don't know if he's evil or not. He just yells how great Sun Fizz is. Yeah, what's he gonna do when he catches them? Is he gonna hurt them or is he just gonna continue to elaborate on the great features of Sun Fizz? Okay, so I found a, a wiki page. I don't know if there's some kind of fandom for this guy, but if there's not, let me be the first to start one. The common theme of the campaign was parodying advertising advertising tactics and gimmicks often used by competitors where a cartoony mascot jumps off the packaging talking about the stuff in the drink. The commercial was directed by Spike Jones. So I guess it was a real commercial. Well, I gotta commend them. I think that was creepy intentionally. And so I rock with it. All the other commercials did not seem intentionally creepy. They just were deeply tense and unnerving. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the second channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.